If you're planning to migrate abroad, there are a lot of skills that you can learn back in your home country that will actually make you a lot of money, save you a lot of money, and give you a lot of connections that you desire when you get to Canada. So in this video, I will talk about maybe about 25 different things that you can consider just learning. Uh, so this is not going to, it, it doesn't mean learn a whole lot of the 25 things. It's not possible. So you can pick one or two of, you know, from these lists and actually learn them. So this is not uh, explicit to those that are coming to Canada, whether I come to Canada, you know, US, UK, any other country, all of these things are definitely going to be very, very helpful to you. The first thing I would say is going to be driving. Very important. You don't know how expensive it is to go to a driving school here. Uh, I don't know about other countries, but in, in Canada, the standard driving school is between 400 to like, you know, 600, you know, Canadian dollars depends on the driving school that you use. That is a lot of money. Okay. But if you just learn driving in your home country uh, and get your driving license, of course, very important, get your driving license from your home country. When you come to Canada, what you can do is you mean, what you can do is uh, they will allow you, you first have to do what is called the uh, knowledge test, okay? They just want to make sure you are very conversant with the rules and all that. When you do the knowledge test, then you can do your driving test at any time if you already have a license from your home country. But if you don't have a license in your home country, the way it works here is that you, after the uh, knowledge test, it is only going to be after one year that you can come to take dr uh, dr your, your driving uh, exam or test or you know road test now it, it doesn't matter to them whether you, you go to a driving school or not because when you come to do your road test they're just going to test you it doesn't matter to them whether during that one year you did driving is a school or not but if you already if you know how to drive from your home country even though you don't have the license now here there are there there is what we call pay our driving class okay instead of paying that four five hundred Canadian dollars for your driving school you can pay the same driving school for about maybe two three hour session of like forty fifty dollars each session and with like hundred dollars you'll be able to now actually practice for the road test, okay? You can just tell them, I'm getting ready for the road test. Now I want to practice. So you can see that it's going to save you a lot of money. Another thing is going to save you if you come and you already have your license from your home country. If you come here and you're able to get a car, you can actually be doing, you know, maybe some delivery, you know, um, taxis, keep the dishes and all of these and you make a lot of money from these things. You you never can tell how a lot of money that people make from these things. So it are some of the things the driving school can, you know, ability to drive can really make you a lot of money. Another thing is going to be photography. Now, um, it's very important. There are people that shoot, you know, maybe a baby dedication, you know, baby birthday, your birthday, um, if you do a wedding, any kind of event that you're doing here. And it's very, very expensive. Like very, very expensive. If you are planning to get married in Canada and you want to do a pre uh wedding shoot, then it's probably gonna cost you like, you know, five, six hundred Canadian dollars just to do your pre wedding shoot or your birthday shoot. So if you as an individual you already know how to do photography, you can actually be doing it as your side hustle and you can work as many hours on this because it's not gonna be counted as your you know, maximum 20 hours. I know of a friend, you know, I, I had an, an event that I, uh, something, I want, a celebration I wanted to do here in Canada and I had to take, you know, good print pictures and I had to call someone to go to take it and the person was actually a student and they're doing it for, you know, as a hobby and they're making some good cash for that. It's very expensive. So if you can learn photography, it's really going to be very helpful. The next one is going to be, this is particularly for ladies, and I'll, I'll talk about it one side for ladies and the other side for, for guys. So a lady and you have the opportunity to learn how to make hair, I will say, please do, okay? Um, it's quite expensive to make your hair in this place because, you know, people don't really have the resource of time and somebody can charge you between 100 to like $200, you know, 
just to help you fix your hair. So it's, it's quite expensive, right? So if you can do that, that's actually something you can do on the weekend, you know, in the evenings or the weekend, and they can come to their, to your house, you go to their house, you do, maybe it takes you like, you know, maybe four, you know, four hours and you just pocket like, you know, uh, 100, $150. That's a lot of money. Do you know how much you're charging per hour for that? And if you're a guy, you can actually learn how to bab. When I was in Newfoundland, I know of a guy, he doesn't have a barber salon. He actually babs, you know, uh, at home. So you can just come and then he would, you know, you guys can talk about the price and then he just cuts your hair for you. So it's very important that you learn, if you can learn how to cut hair, it's very important. For someone like me, although I didn't learn how to cut hair from Nigeria, but when I came here, I was speaking to a friend and I was like, do you know how to... Um, how, how would I get somewhere to cut it? And how do you cut your hair? Like, I try to cut my hair myself. Like, really? So I, I got the clipper and I just watched a couple of YouTube videos and I started cutting my hair myself. And since 2017 till now, I've never spent a dime. In fact, you know, I've never spent any or any dime telling somebody to go cut my hair because I do it myself. And for that driving... From someone like me, you know, even though I didn't have, you know, driving license from Nigeria, but I already kind of uh, knew how to drive. I came here, I'm just kind of repeating that of the driver's uh, license. I came here and I took a couple of, you know, one or two classes with the instructors and I, you know, went for my road test. But I had to stay one year after I did my knowledge test to be able to, uh, you know, do the road test. I know of somebody, the person came and within, you know, one less than one month the person was able to do the knowledge test did the road test got you know person was able to get a car now they're doing one or two delivery here and there and making some extra funds in addition to their part-time job because you can only do maybe 20 hours per week so you want opportunity to be able to do one or two things in addition to that if you know how to cook or bake because here there are a lot of people that do events maybe birthday parties and anniversaries here and there and they, are, they can contract you to cook, right? Uh, like I mentioned, I also did an event, you know, not long ago. And, you know, I had to contract, you know, uh, because it was pretty huge. And I mean, you know, a couple talking about, you know, you know, tens and 20, 30, 40, 50 people and stuff like that. Or stuff like that, if you want to contract it out, you give it to people. And there are people that are living in Canada. So if you know how to do that and you advertise yourself, that you know how to do that, people will be giving you a contract and you can just be making extra funds from that. Very important. The other thing is going to be video editing and photo editing. Okay. I mean, this all kind of, you know, adds to photography. If you're doing photography, of course, you should learn uh, photo editing so that you're able to edit professional pictures. Very important. Now, the video editing skills, do you know that is actually something you can do as a side gig, you know, there are a lot of, you know, people on Fiverr that are looking for people to edit videos for them, maybe YouTube videos and other things like that, you know, so they can send you videos and you edit for them and they charge them per hour, depending on the time it, it to take you to edit the video and you're making your funds from that, you know, cool cash. Okay. So if you can learn that uh, pretty good. The other one is going to be Microsoft skills. Okay. Microsoft office. This may not necessarily be uh, money making, but it's going to be important for you for school and for work because when you come here, a lot of the assignment that they're going to be doing, you will need to be using a lot of Microsoft Word, typing. In fact, if you want to learn, you know, a bit of tasks and other things, if you want to learn, go to an actual computer school and learn typing, okay? So I'll be able to type very fast. It's going to be really helpful to you when you are doing an assignment. And sometimes you may be in the class and you want to take note. It happened to me when I first came. I wasn't very good in typing. So when I'm in the class and the lecturer is just you know, teaching. So sometimes I'm like, uh, so I, I would take few notes. But I'm, I'm seeing other people that are just typing very fast and they're able to take more notes. So that will help you. Maybe Excel, especially PowerPoint as well. Very important because here you would definitely do presentation whether you like it or not. So just, you know, even just even though it's just watching YouTube videos and just rehearsing, just do, doing one or two designs and all that, it's going to be really very helpful. Static presentation, very important. The seventh uh, one I want to talk about is going to be e-commerce, okay? Uh, this is very important. If you 
uh, or you want to make, for those that are interested to make more money online, there are a lot of online businesses that you can do, okay? Uh, you can do Amazon affiliate, uh, even Walmart, you also do affiliate. And basically, you don't have your own product. It's called dropshipping, right? You don't basically have your own product. What do you do? You actually, you know, um, have your own website and, you know, market this product, do Facebook advertising to advertise this product. And when somebody buy this product, what happened? You get a sale. When I came here, I used to have... Um, uh, I was got um, an eBay store and then it was pretty good, you know, but though I, I didn't continue it after some time because, you know, I started doing some other things. I've tried a lot of things, a lot of things. Okay. So I did a, a eBay and then, and, you know, I wanted to challenge this. And sometimes when I'm just working in the lab, I just see PayPal notification. Someone has, you know, bought this particular product and then I go ship the product to the person. I don't own the product. I just go buy the product from somewhere else and ship to the person. That's dropshipping. It's just simple sort of a business that you're going to really, really enjoy. Another one is going to be um, uh, if you're doing, uh, let's say, uh, dropshipping where you have products from you know, China and you just put a product on your website and when people pay for the product, you it automatically just get order to them from China. Okay, although this can take a bit of a while, but you have to let them know that this will take like you no know, shipping is like one or two weeks because you know you of course you're not telling them where it's where it's coming from. I mean, if you want to, it doesn't really matter. But you can use things like Shopify and other things. Just this all of these things are all available online. You know? So even though you don't just watch a few videos on this and then just for example talk or maybe just watch a video. 10 uh, on best online jobs that I can start in Canada or in the US and stuff like that is really good. It'll be very, very helpful. The eighth skill, I would say resume and cover letter writing. Now, when you just come for most of the part-time job, you may not be required to write a cover letter. So it's not really, really that urgent for cover letter, but try to learn it. It's very good. And for CV or for resume, it's very, very important because when you come, you're going to start doing resume for your jobs, okay? So, and sometimes if you don't know how to write resumes and it takes you about, let's say, a month to figure out how to write resume, people that already have good Canadian standard resume, they already, you know, they already apply for jobs immediately, they come, right? So what you can do, very easy, just type online, you know, Canadian CV format, you know, Canadian CV format, you know, do customer service job, whatever kind of do, just say a uh, CV format for customer service. You can see in just a Canadian standard, right? You can see a sample, then you can start building your, re your, your resume based on that. So by the time you come, you already have very good resume writing skills. And do you know that you can actually make business out of this if you know you have a job part-time job i know that you create a small course teaching people how to write a resume for part-time jobs i know it sounds ridiculous but you can make that people that do it and they can make a little bit of cash from that the ninth thing is going to be graphic design okay uh this is something that personally it has helped me a lot when i started my youtube channel i had to learn a lot of things i mentioned about video editing some time ago i had to learn how to edit video out of the software and then I had to learn in graphic design. And for graphic design, I had to learn how to design thumbnails and some other things like that. There are people that actually do this full time, or maybe, you know, side by, by the side. So basically, you design, you know, uh, maybe flyers and posters. And like I said, you can actually get Fiverr, uh, you know, uh, gig, right? You've been designed. They can give you a project that said, design this flyer for us. And especially if you will still have uh, you know, a lot of um, people that you know back from your home country, you can still be doing this thing. Even why? Because it just want to be computer stuff to design all of this. So what will it, what would that do? You'll be able to make one or two money from that. The other one is going to be, I already talked about Babin, uh, the 14, the 10th thing I, I mentioned that just to reiterate that, that you don't have to, you don't need to have a Babin salon, you know, to be able to learn how to cut people's hair um, you can do it from the comfort of your home. And if you have the funds to, you know, to, uh, to get a store, that would be, that would even be better. Uh, in Newfoundland, I know a lot of people, you know, that actually had this, um, 
um, you know, uh, salon where they cut hair, right? So it, it's pretty good. The level 10 is going to be networking skills. This, I can't overemphasize the, the ability to relate with people, to engage with them is very, very important, you know, uh, because here it's also going to be all about networking, 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 talking to people, ability to, you know, you know, do icebreaker and just engage in conversation with someone you're just meeting for the first time, because sometimes you may be working and in the place and you may have to communicate you know with your colleague right is very important and you may be looking for a job and there is somebody that is already in maybe they've been in Canada for a while that can actually help you but you need to be able to network to the person right is very important maybe you know your church uh your school you know, and then volunteer, right? Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer as much as possible. And then that way you can build more and more connection. And it is going to be these, um, vol uh, this uh, networking skill that is going to help you to be able to interact with other people because you may find yourself attending conferences here. So those networking skills are going to be good. Okay. And the 12th thing is going to be marketing and sales. Now, there are a lot of people here in, in Canada, in the U.S. that do business. And what do they do? Maybe they do a shipping business, right? Uh, they, you know, buy a car from Canada or in the U.S. or the U.K. and then ship it back to their home country. When the cars are sold, then they make money from it. That is a, that is a business that a lot of people do. You know, if you've not been involved in that kind of a business before now, you may not have the idea, but... If you know someone that's already doing it in your home country, just kind of, you know, uh, if you want to do an apprenticeship with the person to just learn one or two things, one or two skills is really, really going to be very, very helpful to you. And then about sales, very important. You can buy things at the cheap rate here and also sell. It's There's nothing wrong with that. I have done that before, right? You just, you know, buy things in Walmart that are cheap sell it on eBay, you know, those are our sales skills and all that. And then you need to be able to market those things that you're selling. It may be you have in the website, you have an Instagram page, a Facebook page, and you just market all of these things. So you can see that it's not just to come, you know, for schooling. There are a lot of other things, especially for those that are looking for a way to make a little bit of more funds because maybe you don't have all the required funds uh, maybe you already have, only have first year as required. Then you have to save for the second year. Some of the things that you can do. Now, if you are a tech person, okay, uh, this is very for those that are able to do full repair, you know, uh, software installation and stuff like that. You know, I, 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 there was a day I, I was planning to. I was having an issue with my phone. I was planning to do a repair. And then I was kind of searching online. I saw like a mobile service. Okay. So what they do is that they come to your place and get your phone fixed. My goodness, they come to your place and get your phone fixed for you. So, which means if you are very good in this, you know, repairing phone and stuff like that, it's just for you to be able to market yourself. And for the most part, you can even have maybe on, on Facebook marketplace, you can advertise there on reddit you know you can do an, an advert even if it's on uh instagram you can create any anything for your business you can do whatever you like it is up to you okay you can actually make a little bit of funds from this the other one is going to be uh learn how to use a lot of ai tools right uh, you know if you're not conversant with you know uh, grammarly grammarly is very good for for those that write xc you're going to be writing a lot of xc you know, so it's you know, for mostly for grammar correction and for plagiarizing test and all that. You know, learn how to use ChatGTP, uh, ChatGTP. Yes, okay, it's going to help you in you know, you know, kind of summarizing and doing one or two stuffs. You know, anything that will make your life easier using AI. Definitely try to learn it because this is kind of where the world is heading to now, and it's just going to make your life so much easier. Okay. Um, even, you know, let's say something like drafting a resume. Now you can use some, there are a lot of AI resume design, you know, tools that you can just impute your original CV. You say, this is a job I want to apply. And it will just, you know, redress your CV based on that job that you want to apply. So if you can do that, any type of, you know, artificial intelligence that makes 
uh, um, people's skill is that is good. If you are doing research, there are a lot of AI tools that that enhance your research for literature review, for writing abstract, and for summarizing your your result discussion. There are just a lot of things that they can use, and these are really going to be very very helpful to you. The next one is going to be time management skills. You know, now in your whole country, you may be used to oh, an event is starting at ten. I would arrive there at 10 30. Okay. Some people call it Africa time. If that's what you call it, you know, it's up to you. But here, if they say an event is 10 a.m., by now, if you come at 10 02, the event, event has already started. So you have to learn how to manage time to keep to time. If you say the class is 10, by 10, the class has already started. Okay. So make sure you, you know, you build up, brush up your time management skills. And then another thing is going to be if you are a writer, you can actually keep writing for blogs. There are tons and thousands or hundreds of blogs that are looking for writers. Okay. If you have, you know, stories, stories, you can always tell, you know, write these stories and, you know, you make a lot of money for, you know, from writing some of the blog posts. I'm not a very, very good, you know, story writer in terms of these event blogs and all that. So that's why I don't personally do that. But if you are good at storytelling and you can really write, then get stories, find the blogs, write for them, make money from it. The seventeenth thing I want to talk about is YouTube, right? Um, and YouTube encompasses a lot of things. Okay, you can teach people how to do whatever that you know how to do. If you're good at making hair, why don't you open a YouTube channel and start teaching people how to make hair? Now you're making double money. You're making money from making hair. You make, you're going to be making money from the ad that the, that YouTube is going to be paying you. So whatever you know how to do that you think people are interested in, you can start a YouTube channel. And that if you wanted to know it, I even share your story about your immigration to Canada. That is also another thing. How to do a lifestyle YouTube where you just talk about your lifestyle in Canada is up to you. Whatever you are more comfortable with. And everything is available on YouTube. You can just go online and, and, and say, uh, what are the... You know, um, you know, how to start a YouTube channel. There are tons and tons and thousands of videos that they can watch to give you some ideas about camera, lighting, and thumbnail design, title, and the, you know, a lot of things about YouTube. And then you can make good money from it. Okay. And then another one, number 18, is going to be email communication. The reason why this is very good is when you come, you're going to be sending a lot and lots and tons of emails. Okay. So, let out the red email. This is very important though, because the people when I read their emails, I'll be like, come on, this email is so, so standard. You know, so just just learn just the basic, you know, uh, basic uh, skills of, of, of email writing, right? You can you can just watch a few videos about you know how to be diplomatic in your email. These are some of the things I I had to learn, you know, when I when I came in first, how to send good emails, right? I, I learned from some of my friends, but if you can, you know, just read and watch some videos about that, it's going to help you. So that when you're sending emails, you don't have this sense of entitlement. The way sending emails, right, is very important. The 19th thing is going to be uh, home care and child care, okay? Uh, there are a lot of positions that you can do part-time or you can do either home care or child care and, and other things. So if you can do that in your home country and get a training and get a certification. This is really good, but very helpful to you because when you come here and you're writing your CV, then you can boldly say, you know what? I already have an experience from my home country as a, you know, home care personal support worker, you know, child support worker, uh, as the case may be. Okay. So you can do, you know, the, although there are some, there may be some regulations around these, some, they say you need uh, a, a, uh, a certification from Canada, you know, depending on the province, but some provinces don't require that you can actually work without getting any certification. But if you have a certificate from your home country, that's going to be very helpful. The 20th thing is going to be learn about customer service, okay? Because a lot of positions that you may get when you arrive here is probably going to be relating to customer service. And you will be shocked that there are hundreds and thousands of jobs in this area so if you even want to build your 
your resume around customer savings, that's what you can do online. Okay. You can actually, you know, um, uh, you know, build that resume, even have it even before you come. And then when you come, you can begin to brush it up. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you already have a personal business, yeah. Learning customer savings and all that is very, very important. So this is not an exhaustive list. And then, I mean, of course, financial management is also very important. Learn about how to manage your finances. Because here, yeah, it's just meant for you to make you to spend all the money that you have. So you need to learn about budgeting and a lot of things about finance. So I know it, like I said, you don't have to learn all of this. For me, I've learned a couple of these skills that have saved me, like I probably said thousands of dollars and also brought in thousands of dollars as well in revenue. So um, learn any of these and then when you come, build on them. I know getting a part-time job of course you have to when you when you're coming you have to focus on getting a, a, a regular part-time job when you have that then you know in the evenings when you have time you can use that spare time to actually build you know that your personal side hustle and stuff like that and you should be just good i think i'm tired that's gonna be it for this video if you haven't liked this video do it to hit the like button and let me know in the comment section among all of these skills which of them do you already have and which of them do you plan to build before you come to canada and let me know in the comment section tell me where you're watching from the country where you're watching from and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this channel that's going to be it for this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video cheers